You should be watching this video for your sun, moon, rising sign, or Venus sign. Um, but the moon's going to resonate the best for you, most likely. So if you don't know your moon sign, check in the description box below, and there's a link there that'll help you figure out what that is. You can also be watching this if your partner or ex-partner is of this sign. And a good idea is that sometimes when these videos come out right away, they're gonna resonate right away and sometimes they're not. So yes, a personal reading is going to give you the most accurate information, but also sometimes these energies don't click with us because these things haven't happened yet. They're going to happen mid-November or they're gonna happen at the end of November. So keep that in mind too. You could bookmark it, come back to it, or you could just say, fuck it all, I don't like this bitch. That's your prerogative. Um, but let's just get started with your video. Hi Aries! So Aries singles, generally what's up for you in regards to love in November? Oh boy. So you might be like trying to figure out, okay, this is what I want. And then maybe other people don't approve of what you want. They have their own opinions on it. Doesn't fucking matter. Follow your dreams. Get what you want in love. You know, like maybe um, you like a certain kind of person, but like your family pictures you with somebody else kind of a thing. Um, but you got to do you. Yeah. What they're saying though, is that this month might be challenging to like really go out there and find it because of past hurt. So there's that to note. Um, so let's look at first. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here's some interesting stuff. The challenge is finding a soulmate, like somebody that you deeply emotionally bond to and connect with right? And you just might feel like that kind of person doesn't exist, or maybe that they did exist, but they don't exist in your life anymore. And now you're single and you're like, oh fuck, am I ever going to find someone like that again? Um, so that's a very specific situ situation, but that's definitely a message for somebody here. It just leapt right out of the deck. Um, so if that's you, pay extra attention. Now, what is it that you actually want in the month of November? They're like, that's the trouble. You're a little bit confused. So it's like, is love even the most important thing? Maybe it's money. Maybe it's um, success. Maybe it's what other people, um, how other people perceive you. Maybe it's, you know, whatever. You, It's like there's so many things. Or even looking at a partner, it's like, what are the qualities that are most important to me? I like this. I like this. I like this. It's good to like a lot of different things about somebody, right? But what's the most important thing? And you're having a hard time really kind of figuring that out, right? And so it's like this ADD energy where it's like you can't really go in any direction because your energy is all over the place. And so it's kind of blocking you from talking to the kind of people who would be a good fit for you and also um, blocking you from receiving love in your life in this month. Now, um, what is it that you actually need? Because maybe that'll help you get clear. And they say, well, you need somebody honest, somebody that um, is super loyal, somebody that wouldn't betray you or lie to you. So focus on that. Focus on good communicators um, and focus on people who aren't bitchy because that's going to really, really, really uh, kind of, here's the thing. Here's the trouble that I'm sensing. It's like there might be some things about bitchy people that you like. For example, they're confident. They know what they want. Um, you know, they're persistent. These things are attractive qualities. But if they can't communicate lovingly, that's going to be a big problem for you. Um, so they're like, you know, if that's your type, we've got to kind of close the door on that cycle and walk into a new one. So maybe first thing you want to focus on is somebody who communicates um, effectively, first of all, that they're very honest. Um, and that they do so from a place of love. 
a maybe an air sign would be good, like a Libra or something like that. Doesn't have to be, but I mean that would potentially be a good match. So how are you gonna get what you want? Like, what's your advice on that in the month of November? And they said, well, just be confident that you can find, have the confidence that you can find it in the first place. Because some of us are coming from this place of like believing that we've already missed our chance, our opportunity with somebody from the past. And they're like, you know, that old adage, there's like a bajillion fish in the sea. So there's got to be one out there somewhere that doesn't suck, right? Because if there were, if your relationship ended, obviously there were problems. So what they're saying is, you have to recognize that whatever you give to a relationship, you should be getting in return, right? So if you're not going to put a lot of effort into a relationship, then you're not going to get a lot of effort back. But this has to be balanced, okay? So we need to be attracting um, a balanced relationship. So if you're going to just kind of put like minimal effort into it, you can kind of assume that in November, if you're to meet anyone at all, it's going to stay casual. Um, so... But what they're saying is, you know, you, you might be afraid. You've got a lot of fear this month for whatever reason that um, in giving of yourself that you'll be hurt. And maybe that's happened in the past. But if you don't give yourself, then you're not also giving yourself the opportunity to be loved either. And that's something that you need to think about. So what is it that you need to release in the month of November in order to bring in love? And it's, it's just kind of mirroring what we already said where they're like, you know, maybe this lack of enthusiasm to try to create a stable relationship because now you're wondering, like, does happily ever after exist? Or at least in the way that I had it in my mind. And those are some thoughts that you really need to work through and get through, even though it's hard and it makes you sad. Um, so your overall lesson in the month of November, Aries Singles, is courage. You've got to find that inner strength and face your fears with confidence. And, you know, it's a purple card. So it's relating to your third eye chakra. So however you connect to spirit through prayer, meditation, whatever it is, um, exercise for some people, that's going to help you. You've got to um, utilize spirit in order to, like, grow this courage and strength to kind of take these risks, take these leaps, okay? Now, Coupled Aries. What is your overall situation? They're saying there's some things here that you don't want to think about, decide on, um, and it has to do with your resistance <laughs> to receive love. Um, so it's not that nobody loves you, that your partner doesn't love you. It's just like maybe you're not feeling it entirely. So what should you keep doing in order to strengthen this relationship? And they're like, okay, so... Plant good seeds for love to grow out of because, like, you might feel – it's this weird energy of, like, your confidence. You're typically a very confident sign, but for whatever reason this month, it's just not as good as usual. Maybe your finances are out of order. Maybe your work-life balance is fucked up. But you're just not feeling your usual self. And so they're like, you have to find your strength somewhere. And – um you have to remember that this is just a temporary energy, that it's not forever, that you are typically a very confident and stable kind of an energy. And so, um, like, just kind of push that out of your mind in this month. What do you need to stop doing in order to um, foster a healthy relationship here? And they say stop hyper-focusing on things that are outside of the relationship that are maybe sort of in your control but sort of not. Like circumstances surrounding money, home, car, routine, work, that kind of a thing. That can't be your focus this month. Um, what is your general advice? And they say, you know what? Like in these feelings of like hopelessness or like emotional kind of back and forth and not feeling super great. Also your hormones could be out of whack. So that's, um, if it, it's a good month for, for an Aries to get a physical generally. Um, they're like, you know, this is not necessarily a card about expressing gratitude, but this is a really good way to appreciate and hold on to the things that don't suck right now, um, is to write them down, you know, like a gratitude journal would be great or just, um, giving thanks for regular things. Thank you for the internet. Thank you for oxygen. Thank you that I had lunch today. Thank you, um, that I'm meeting new clients, you know, that kind of a thing. Very, very important. Now, um, what is your overall lesson in the month of November for Aries and relationships? And it's trust. 
I need to trust my inner voice and that it's always going to guide me correctly. And again, it's very important for us to make that connection to spirit. Now, for those of you who are in between, you're in an on in on again, off again relationship, or maybe it's just not official. You're not sure if you're a couple or a single. What do we have for you? And they said, making decisions in the month of November surrounding this relationship isn't going to work out for your highest good. Just trust that you're going to do the right thing by the time we get to the end of it. Now, what is it that you should keep doing? And then what is it you should stop doing? Keep being your generous self, like giving of yourself to the situation, to this person of your time, energy, money, love, whatever, and continue to communicate. It's going to be very important. What is your lesson? And we get love. I'm committing to practicing this, like the, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So again, like a gratitude journal, super important for you. So good luck and love in the month of November and see you in December. Mwah.